Hello everyone. Namaste and welcome in my video. This is me, Ratna Thapa, and I am here to say about the definition of hardware with examples, definition of software with examples, and entire function of computer. Now I am going to uh, define software as you can define it in many ways and some ways are here. You can define like this, the software is the collection of programs, procedures, instructions that performs some task on a computer. By second way, you can define it like this. Software is often used to describe all the functional aspects of a computer that do not refer to its physical components and it tells us the computer how to work. By third way also, you can define like this. It enables a computer to perform a specific task as opposed to the physical component of the system. So simply you can say that the collection of the program is called as software. Some examples of software are here. As we have so many examples of software, but I have mentioned here only some. They are MS Word, MS Excel, PowerPoint, Google Chrome, Windows 10, Linux, Mac OS, Media Player, etc. These are the examples of software. Now, what is computer hardware? Here also you can define it in many ways also. Which you feel easy, you can uh, say the definition. Now, first definition I have given here, that is the physical component of a computer, such as the machine and wiring or tools and machinery or heavy military equipment is called computer hardware. By Next way also you can define it like this. Computer hardware is a physical components that a computer system requires to function. It is connected with a circuit board that operates within a PC or laptop, including the motherboard, graphics card, CPU, ventilation fans, webcam, power supply, and so on. By third way, you can define computer hardware like this. Computer hardware is a collection of physical parts of a computer system that includes the computer, case, uh, monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Computer hardware is what we can physically touch. So in a simple way, you can define it like this. The physical components of a computer system that we can touch, feel, and see is called as computer hardware. Now we have some examples of hardware. As we have so many examples, but I'm going to mention here only some examples. They are CPU, monitor, pen drive, printer, mouse, RAM chip, scanner, motherboard, etc. Okay, now I'm going to tell you how does a computer work or entire function of computer. First of all, I want to define computer here. A computer is a machine that receives and processes data according to the instructions given to it. And after the data has been processed, the results of the processing are usually sent to an output device. The input device of a computer can depend on the type of computer we are dealing with, but most physically we'll find a mouse, keyboard, scanner, or even application uh, installed on the computer. 
Once the data has been received, the central processing unit along with the help of other components takes over and processes the information it was given. Once the data is ready, it will be sent back through an input de output device which can be a monitor, speaker, printer, ports, etc. Now, how does a computer work? You have to know here and you know very well that without hardware and software, our computer cannot work. Our computer system cannot run. So, we need to have hardware and software both here. So, hardware and software is related one to another. Software is the soul of computer system. In the absence of um, hardware, software cannot work. In the absence of software, hardware cannot work. So, uh, to complete our computer system, we need to have hardware and software both. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you that is very important and you have to understand this one. Our computer cannot understand any other language except machine language. Computer's own language is machine language. So when uh, you will input the data and instructions, it converts into machine language and each and every data is stored in it uh, in the binary format that is zero and one. Now I'm going to show you uh, one video here where you can uh, see how does a computer work. When you look inside a computing device, you see a bunch of circuits, chips, wires, speakers, plugs, and all sorts of other stuff. This is the hardware. But what you don't see is the software. Software is all of the computer programs or code running on this machine. Software can be anything from apps and games to web pages and the data science software that me and my teams use at Amazon to understand how customers behave. How do the hardware and the software interact with one another. Let's start at looking at a computer's central processing unit, or CPU. The CPU is the master chip that controls all the other parts of the computer. A CPU needs to do different things, so inside it has smaller, simpler parts that handle specific tasks. It has circuits to do simple math and logic. It has other circuits to send and receive information to and from different parts of the computer. The real magic of the CPU is how it knows which circuits to use and when to use them. The CPU receives simple commands that tell it which circuit to use to do a specific job. For example, an add command tells the CPU to use its adder circuit to calculate a new number. And then the store command tells the CPU to use a different circuit to save that result into memory. Just like numbers, all of these simple commands can be represented in binary ones and zeros, or on and off electrical signals. The binary commands are stored in memory, and the CPU fetches and executes them in sequence, one after the other. This sequence of commands is in fact a very simple computer program. Binary code is the most basic form of software, and it controls all the hardware Computer. These days, nobody writes software in binary. It would take forever. Today, the software we write looks more like this, or this, or even this. Programming languages like these let you type in commands in something that looks a lot like English. To draw a rectangle on the screen, you just need a single command. This high-level command is converted into hundreds or thousands of simpler binary commands that the CPU understands. Software tells the CPU what to do, but when you're listening to music and browsing the web and chatting with a friend, your computer is running multiple pieces of software all at once. So how do all of these programs get on the computer in the first place, and how can the CPU run them all at once? To find out, we'll have to take a look at the operating system. The operating system of the computer 
is the master program that manages how software gets to use the hardware of the computer. For example, I help create the Windows operating system that runs on most personal computers. The operating system is a program with special abilities that let it control the other software on the computer. It lets you install new programs by loading them into your computer's memory. It decides when a program is run by the central processing unit, whether that program can access the computer's input and output devices. And when you think your computer is running many programs at once, in reality, it's the operating system that's quickly switching between programs, sharing that CPU for fractions of a second. Inside every computer is an operating system managing software that controls the computer's hardware. The software is a series of commands made of simple binary code, and that binary code is just electrical signals flowing through billions of tiny circuits. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Bye-bye. See you soon.